All right, I just noticed something else with the, on the driver's side, there's a similar port, but my driveway kind of slopes to the passenger side. So, but notice it has the same exit port right there. Also obviously clogged. So what I'm doing is I, uh, of course, you know, you blow it out with your leaf blower or compressed air or any kind of really strong device you know that can blow out the debris first then i'm spraying it with i use uh you know simple green or any kind of dirt remover solution i'm spraying all this area in here with that and then i take a nice brush and brush it all out inside here because it was completely filthy notice the passenger side draining nicely now So yeah, you got them on both sides, passenger and driver's side. Of course, you know I could have, I should have figured that, but I didn't even bother to look over here. But it definitely has the same general setup on this side. So everything needs to be cleaned out beneath your windshield area. All this through here needs to be cleaned out. Notice all the debris up there. All that needs to be cleaned. Just clean it clean it clean it and uh, shoot honestly once you put it all back together I don't know it may be worth taking some black caulking or something and run it along the top of the cowling right there because mine has a slight gap in it when it's installed which allows debris just to go right underneath this cowling right here which means it's just allowing debris to just co collect all down in there so, you know, once you clean everything and dry it off and put it back together, you might have to take you some little uh, black caulking of some sort and just run a bead along this edge right here. I mean, if you can do it cleanly, I guess it's, it's worth doing because otherwise, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it may take several years for this to happen again. But, um, you know, just for some preventative maintenance... I would do a little bit of caulking along the top of the cowling once you put it back in place. I, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Anywho, just more stuff I'm finding. So see my previous videos on this water in the floorboard project on this 08, 09 Ford Taurus X. Same for your, this is going to be same for a ton of different cars because most all of your modern cars have a similar water drainage setup. And, um, and it's not that difficult to get in here to all this stuff. You know, it's fairly self-explanatory uh, when you look at it. And you can see my pre previous videos on how I got in here. It's not that big a deal. Anywho, that's it. Check out our other stuff. we got all kinds of other videos on cars, motorcycles, dirt bikes, lawnmowers, leaf blowers, trimmers, you name it. we got all kinds of help videos that may, uh, you know, may help you in the future. So subscribe to our channel and check it out. We'll see you all later.